All right, folks, this is another this tutorial video on using a tool in Google Classroom that I've added this week. A lot of students have been asking me if they are caught up on their work, and it's hard to keep track of that, especially if you haven't been clicking the turn in or finish mark as complete on the Google Classroom app or the, cla the classwork section. If you haven't been marking turn in or mark as done, then you don't really necessarily know if I have marked you for credit for assignments. So I've gotten a lot of text messages, people asking me, what they have to work on or what's done what's not done so what i've done here is i've po posted my tracker so you can see what you have done and what i have marked down for you so you know what is left to be done i want to remind you that for most of this time on the break we're really just grading for completion to see that you're working and growing your brain uh the, the grade book is largely based on what are you turning in are you finishing your work are you staying caught up with the exception of the tests which are getting a, an actual number score grade um so Right here, this is a new post. I'm gonna keep this at the top. I'll keep saying I can mark and it'll say um, move to the top if it's not at the top. So it'll always stay at the top of our stream. So the stream is here in Google Classroom. So what you do is you click um, here on the Google Doc. It says the, the Paul Math Science Work Completion. Open the link and you'll see that it's blank. Um, also, you'll see I blacked out all the names. This is where the names will be, but since I'm putting it on YouTube, uh, I didn't want to put your names in public, so I took that down. Um, so the, the spreadsheet has all the assignments for the week at the top, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, based on the colors. Um, so you can go through and now also have links posted for the assignments up here, so you can click on them to get started with the assignment. And basically what's going to happen is if you are finished with an assignment, for example, our, our first call, if you finish that Monday math exit ticket, I grade it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to change it to complete. It'll turn green and that shows that it's complete. It doesn't mean you can change it. You cannot change this to complete. Only I can. But let's say you want to see go back to last week. And so you're down here at the bottom of the document. So this is this week, which no one has done any work yet because it's not available yet. So I'm going to delete this complete because no one's done any work yet. That'll be tomorrow. Um, so this is this week. This is last week, the week of Monday 4, 6. So again, the names are blacked out, so you can't see, but you can get an idea of some people have a lot of things to work on. Some people are almost done. They only have a couple partially complete assignments, and some people are totally done. So let's say I'm somebody who has looked at this tracker and I see that I'm missing my Monday science exit ticket from last week. Um, I click on the link to get to the, the exit ticket. I take the exit ticket and it's done. You want to let me, Mr. B, know that you finished that assignment. What you do is click in the cell here. This is a cell that's by your name. And you're going to click up here, add a comment or insert a comment. You can also double two finger click or left click uh, and it'll show up as well as an option to it comment. So either one of these comments will work. So comment goes here and you can say, Mr. B, I finished this comment. So I'll get that comment. It'll let me know that you finished that assignment. Then I'll go and I'll change it. I'll check Edulastic or see where your exit ticket is so I can grade it. And then I'll change you to complete. And I'll delete your comment to let me, so you know I did it. Or I'll comment back and say, um, you didn't quite finish it if you hadn't finished it. So I'll let you know one way or the other. So your job for this is to make sure you're checking this to see that I have all of your assignments completed and put in here. And this is again last week or the, this two weeks ago. And this is this week currently. I would really recommend finishing the assignments for the week we're in before going back in time and working on the old assignments, getting caught up. Next week is our April break week. However, it's not going to be a real break because we're not actually on a break because we're not in school. So what the school has decided is that next week will be a work week. So catching up on a lot of the work of uh, the assignments in the past few weeks. So if you fell behind or anything, this is your ch next week will be a great chance for you to catch up. I'll still offer my Zoom office hours if you want to come. It won't require attendance. Um, if you want to help with anything or just check in, I'll be available still. But it won't be a normal week of school with new assignments. You'll have a couple of homework things to work on, but nothing like the daily new lessons that you've been used to. So try not to stress out. I know there's a lot going on. This is totally new for you guys, just like it, and it's totally new for me as well. I know it's really hard. Um, I hate to make things more stressful for you. So hopefully this helps. If it's not helpful or you need something else, you can comment um, in Google Classroom, let me know, or just text me and let me know. Hope you're all well. Looking forward to another great week of seeing you guys in Zoom lessons and working hard on these assignments. Take care.